everybody. Today we're going to talk about something a little bit different than what we usually talk about here on the channel. It's going to be a quick tip, kind of a reminder, if you will. Very often, if you look at self-defense shootings, like security camera footage, etc., that are on YouTube, folks get knocked down when they get into confrontation. Things tend to happen very close. But a lot of people, concealed carry holders, home defense, people who train for those things, don't think about firing from your back. So there's some things you want to think about and train for before you have to actually do it in real life. So that's what we're going to cover here today. Uh, depending on where you carry your gun is going to be the draw specific part of that. So I'm going to kind of leave that to you to dry fire and figure out how you want to do it. But obviously you want to dry your firearm out. And at this point you want to think, get your legs out wide. Two reasons. One, it gives you more stability on the ground. Two, you're going to be firing and you don't want, as you're firing, your feet to be in close. You want to be apart to give yourself a wide field of view and minimize that chance that you're going to flag yourself. So. Once you have your feet out wide, there's kind of two schools of thought on how you do this. Some people say, and depending on your body shape, that you want to kind of brace your hand on your hips or your legs or your stomach and fire to give yourself a stable platform. The other school of thought is you want to sort of extend, press touch, just like you would if you were standing. So whatever school you think works for you, school of thought works for you, go with it. Practice it. Either one will work. Just uh, get out ahead of time and try it out. So what you want to do, though, is when you come up, Acquire your sights. Once that threat is eliminated, you want to scan, obviously, like we always want to do. At this point, though, you want to think of how to get up because you don't want to stay in your back any longer than you have to. So, generally speaking, you want to keep both hands on the weapon, if at all possible. So, you want to bring your leg in, keeping both hands on the, pot, on the weapon oriented at the threat because you never know when people are going to come back and start firing. Just because you shot them center mass doesn't mean they're done. So you want to bring your leg in, either one, and stand up, roll forward towards the threat. Now, that's the general principle of it. Obviously, you're going to need some things to do this. You're going to need a range or a location that you can do this. I'm lucky enough to be able to have this field that I can do that. Um, you, so if you don't have that, dry fire at home. It's better than nothing for sure. So you want to make sure you do that. You want to make sure you have targets that are relatively low because you don't want to be firing high up over a berm or if your stray rounds go out really far, and that's pretty much it. If you have that and the willingness to train and the mindset, you'll be all right. If you guys have any questions about this or anything else I talk about here on the channel, you can always post below in the comments section. You can also post over at my Facebook page. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.